Hi everyone, welcome to Rockin' Robin Cooks. Today's recipe, I'm making a pepperoni pizza chicken bake. Now, if you like pepperoni pizza, but you know, they've got a lot of carbs, then this recipe, you've got to check it out. Um, we're using chicken instead of pizza crust and the flavors are, I mean, you're just gonna think this is pepperoni pizza. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So before I go over the ingredients with you, I just wanna share uh, how I was inspired for, to make this recipe because it was not my idea. Uh, Kaylinskitchen.com, I saw it on Pinterest. I said, man, what a great idea. Let's give this a try. And I liked it and I said, well, I'm gonna make a few changes to it because I wanna make it a little healthier. So uh, yeah, if you wanna find that recipe uh, from her, you can go down in the description of my video and I'll put a link to it. But I just wanted to mention that. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. First off, we have our chicken. Now I'm using both uh, chicken breasts that are thinly sliced and chicken thighs because our family likes it that way. So we like both. Now, to make it a little healthier, I'm adding some cauliflower, which I'm gonna cook up and steam, and I'll show you all the details on that. But I'm gonna be adding that to my to, uh, pasta sauce here. So that's our next ingredient, pasta sauce. Use your favorite. I chose one that has the least amount of sugar per, say, half, half a cup. Um, this one has four grams. A lot of them have double that. So if you're, you know, conscious of your sugar intake, you might want to read labels and check that out. Next, I have my uh, pepperoni. So I'm using a brand called True Story. And if you're gluten-free, uh, this one is definitely gluten-free. It has no added nitrates and nitrites. So it's, and it tastes great. I mean, I really loved it in this recipe. We'll need some fresh basil. I got some out of my garden. Uh, we'll need some Monterey Jack cheese some mozzarella cheese. I thinly sliced it so that I could put a piece on each slice of chicken and we'll need some garlic powder and some salt. To start off our recipe, we wanna do two things right off the bat. First one is we're gonna start heating up our pasta sauce. So I'm gonna place that into a saucepan and I'm going to chop up or chiffonade my basil into nice small pieces and add it to it. And we're gonna simmer it on the stove you know, for about 15, 20 minutes, I want it to reduce down. That way it's a thicker sauce. The second thing we're gonna do is we are going to steam our cauliflower. So I got a steamer here. I'm gonna pour it in there, uh, steam it until it's nice and fork tender. So we're simmering our sauce here now. I have a lid partially covering this. I wanna just show you it's simmering away here. Stir it every once in a while. Uh, we don't wanna cover it completely because we want it to cook down, so. Uh, but I want to put a partial cover on it because it makes a lot of splatter. So I'll just place it like that and that way it can still, that uh, moisture can evaporate. And of course we have our cauliflower over here steaming away and we'll, well let's give this a check. It might be uh, fork tender. We really want it to be soft because I'm going to be placing this in a food processor and really pureeing it so that it's undetectable in our sauce. So our cauliflower is nice and tender, nice and fork tender. You want it to be really uh, soft. And I've let it cool here for about you know, three or four minutes just to cool it a little bit before I place it into my food processor. And I'm gonna process this up and I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. I didn't mention that in the ingredients in the beginning of the video, but you wanna add a little bit of milk or a milk alternative, whatever your favorite is just to get this to be nice and creamy. I want it to just kind of blend right into my sauce. We're gonna scrape down the sides. It almost looks like mashed potatoes. It gets really nice and smooth. And I'm just gonna add a drop, just a little bit, maybe a teaspoon or, or two of milk. Process it again. And here you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna add the cauliflower to the pasta sauce now. And I tell you, nobody's gonna know it's in there. Nobody has said a thing yet to me about it, so you can't tell. And it makes your sauce thick, which is really nice. And you don't have to add it all, add as much as you want. In fact, I think I'm gonna stop with that because it looks pretty thick. All right, now I'm gonna set this aside and just keep it nice and warm. All right, we're ready to start our chicken. Now, I have a nice Pyrex dish right here going in the oven, so preheat your oven to 375 degrees. I have my ceramic frying pan here over medium heat. 
I'm going to drop just a little bit of oil into the pan just to coat it a bit. Swirl it around. And I'm going to start adding chicken. I'm going to go with the thighs first. We're going to add a little salt to this. and some garlic powder. And we're gonna cook this until we get a nice internal temperature of 165 or it's not pink anymore. And then I'm gonna place it into my Pyrex dish. We'll show you that. Chicken's been cooking now for about 12 or 13 minutes. I'm gonna check the temperature. Right here, we're still not quite there yet. All right, so I'm gonna take some of the other pieces out. What I've got here is my sauce, which I'm gonna ladle just a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the dish. Just kind of spread it around. You don't need too much. Just to give it a little coating, something to sit on. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna cook up the chicken breast and do the same thing. Chicken's all done, so now we're ready to really layer this up and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a nice scoop of this thick sauce right on top of the chicken. Next goes a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese on top of each piece. Now I'm gonna layer some mozzarella cheese right on top. Nice little slice on each piece, and sometimes two, depending on how big the chicken, how big the chicken is. Then we're gonna finish this off with lots of little pieces of pepperoni. I've been told that we need more. More is better than less. It's nice to have a piece in every bite. So place the casserole in the oven, 375 degrees, for about 15, 20 minutes until it gets hot. And you want to put it on the second shelf. Because after we get done baking, we're going to broil, and that way you don't have to change the shelf level. All right, everybody, that's our pepperoni pizza chicken bake. Really delicious. I'm going to take me a little bite here. So, if you, man, that's delicious, guys. That is really good. If you have a craving for some pepperoni pizza and you want to lower your carbs, try this dish. It is really delicious. I think you're going to love it. Give this recipe a try, guys. You know, sneak in some of that cauliflower into your sauce. Uh, it does a couple of things, you know, it increases your vegetables and it thickens up your sauce. So it, it works really well and you cannot tell that it's in there at all. I can't tell at all. No one else has ever mentioned it, so uh, it just sneaks right through. So thanks again for watching everybody. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, click the button where you see it down below the video. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know if you have any recipe requests, I'd like to hear about it. And uh, share the video. So thanks again for watching everybody, we'll see you next time, have a great day.